In fact, when Isaac Newton was only 23 years old, he stumbled upon the universal force of gravitation. According to one story, he was walking on his estate in Wilsthorpe and he saw an apple fall. And then Isaac Newton saw the moon. And then he asked the key question which helped to unlock the heavens. If apples fall, does the moon also fall? And the answer was yes. And that answer overturned thousands of years of mystery and speculation about the motions of the heavens. The moon is in free fall. Just like an apple, the moon is constantly falling toward the earth. It doesn't hit the earth because it spins around the earth and the earth is round, but it's acting under a force, a force of gravity. So Newton immediately tried to work out the mathematics, and he realized that the mathematics of the 1600s was not sufficient to work out the motion of a falling moon. So what did Isaac Newton do? When he was 23 years old, not only did he stumble upon the force of gravity, but he also created calculus. In fact, he created calculus at the rate at which you learn it when you're a freshman in college. And why did he create calculus? To calculate the motion of a falling moon. The mathematics of his age was incapable of calculating the trajectories of objects moving under an inverse square force field. And that's what Isaac Newton did. He worked out the motion of the moon. And then he realized that if he understands the moon, he also understands the motion of the planets in the solar system.